guys welcome back CFP here and this is survival living so today's video we're actually talking about China's capabilities of EMP weaponry I do know that a lot of people don't believe in EMP weapons um, so I've been searching out trying to find out some new information for everybody just to let everybody know that yeah the threat is real now this one here is a two-month-old report but we'll go ahead and read it off for you guys China has first strike capabilities to melt U.S. power grid with electromagnetic pulse weapons. Two months ago, the EMP Task Force on National and Homeland Security issued a scary report on China's ability to conduct an electromagnetic pulse attack on the United States. The key takeaway, according to Dr. Peter Pry, executive director of the task force, is that China now has super EMP weapons knows how to protect itself against an EMP attack and has developed protocols to conduct first strike attacks even as they deny they would ever do so. According to the Center for Strategic International Studies, China has the most active ballistic missile development program in the world. China has stolen U.S. technology to develop at least three types of high-tech weapons to attack the electrical grid and key technologies that could cause a surprise Pearl Harbor attack that could produce a deadly blackout to the entire country. Dr. Pry outlines how China has built a network of satellites, high-speed weapons, high-speed missiles, and super electronic pulse weapons that could melt down our electric grid, fry critical communications, and even take out the ability of our aircraft carrier groups to respond. EMPs are one of those things that many people think is fake or overblown or a conspiratorial theorist dream. But they are real. EMPs can be either natural from things like extreme solar geomagnetic disturbance or man-made like a thermonuclear detonation or a cyber attack. If they are coordinated with physical attacks, then things can get real dicey real fast. As the U.S. Commission to assess the threat to the United States from EMP attacks point out, the physical and social fabric of the United States is sustained by a system of systems, a complex and dramatic network of interlocking and inter- dependent infrastructures whose harmonious functions enables the actions, transactions, and information flow that orderly conducts civil society. According to the Commission, EMP effects represent arguably the largest scale common cost failure event that could affect our electric power grid and undermine our society, leaving it vulnerable on many fronts about the only safe system are nuclear reactors, both new and old. High voltage control cables and large transformers that control the grid are particularly vulnerable. Transformers weigh 400 tons, take two years to build, and cost seven million dollars a piece. We already are way behind on having backup transformers ready. So if many go out at once, we will have a big problem just powering our country alone. The phenomenon of a large electromagnetic pulse is not new. The first human-caused EMP occurred in 1962 when a 1.4 megaton Starfish Prime thermonuclear weapon detonated 400 kilometers above the Pacific Ocean. 100 times bigger than what we dropped on Hiroshima, Starfish Prime resulted in an EMP which caused electrical damage nearly 900 miles away in Hawaii. It knocked out about 300 streetlights, set off numerous burglar alarms, and damaged a telephone company microwave link that shut down telephone calls in the Hawaiian Islands. And that was 900 miles away. On the natural side, in 1989, an unexpected geomagnetic storm triggered an event on the Hydro-Quebec power system that resulted in its complete collapse within 92 seconds, leaving 6 million customers without power. The storm resulted from the sun ejecting a trillion cubic mile flume 
of superheated plasma or ionized gas. Such storms occur every 60 years or so, and in 1989, we weren't anywhere near as electrified and electronically connected as we are today, or as we will be in 30 years. Solar events were considered the most likely EMP to occur until now. According to Dr. Pry, a longtime expert on EMP warfare, China developed the weapons as part of its total information warfare that includes hacking raids on computers, as it is expected to be doing during this next presidential election. Even more troubling, Dr. Pry found out that China is eager to shoot first with high altitude electromagnetic pulse or hemp weapons launched from satellites, ships, and land. Dr. Pry is trying to raise awareness of the possible threat posed by EMP attacks either from the military foe or from a solar event. China, Russia, North Korea, and Iran are moving to build and deploy systems which can launch a nuclear weapon into the atmosphere to explode and disable electronics below, including flying aircraft. A report done while Dr. Pry was a key member of the Congressional EMP Commission found that an EMP attack on the East Coast electrical grid could lead to a huge number of deaths. You might think an EMP is too far-fetched to worry about, but you would be wrong. We have been learning in the information age that it can be done and somebody will do it. The speed at which our information age is changing is paralleled by the speed with which our national digital can test, block, and even change gaps in vulnerabilities in our electronic shield. China has rolled out a number of new military capabilities designed to protect their expansion future. Include that they have an array of a new generation of nuclear submarines, a carrier killing missile named DF 21D, intended specifically to destroy aircraft carriers, and a new rocket launch vehicle like the Long Mark 6 rocket, capable of carrying 20 warheads and just went into space last month to deploy 20 satellites in orbit. So guys, EMPs are a real threat. Chrono mass ejections are a real threat. You need to keep prepared, keep that in your preparedness scenarios while you're getting supplies. Um, like I've discussed before many times, we went ahead and purchased the EMP shield for our vehicle and also for our solar systems. Um, we're still looking into getting one for our generator, but having the ability to create power after power has failed is going to be key, especially down here in Florida. When it's hot down here, guys, it is brutally hot. So having the ability to turn on an air conditioner or even a fan is life-saving. Now, with power being knocked out, that means your water supply is not going to make it either. If you're hooked into city water, even if you have a well on your property unless you have a bucket that you can run down and pull back up you have to be able to power that up so having ways to retrieve water having ways to filter out water is one of the first things you need to do you need to be able to drink water if you're going to live clean drinkable water next thing of course is food um, electricity for us is definitely up there because we see the need especially when we're hunting things like that, processing meat, it just makes meat last a lot longer. Now I have done many videos already on weekly preps, uh, which you can get for under $100, which you can get for under $50, $20. Many of y'all have seen these, many of y'all have used that as far as ideas, as far as adding to your normal rotation stock. I cannot stress that enough, guys. If you have not started purchasing foods, purchasing survival equipment as far as water pur purification, um, of course, you need something to defend your property and supplies with. So, yes, that is the bang bangs. You need to get started on that before time is way too late and it's pushing it. We don't know when this is going to happen, but everything is gearing up for it to happen. So, guys, get ready. Keep your head on a swivel. Be aware of what's going on. Don't get wrapped up in the news because the news is misleading. Start digging around. Start really looking at things. 
and you know, just turn off CNN, okay? All right, guys, y'all take care. I'll speak to y'all later. Hey everyone, this is Ryan Jeske with the Prescott Caliber Club. For those of you who don't know me, I've been subscribed here to Survival Living since I believe, um, I believe I was subscriber number 54. That was a long time ago. My buddy CFP over here has invited me to do a little promo video, so I wanted to offer a discount to uh, his followers, to you guys. So if you head on over to PrescottCalClub.com, hit our online store up, you can save 5% with the discount code CFPROCKS. That will give you, again, 5% off store-wide at PrescottCalClub.com. The Prescott Caliber Club is an online emergency preparedness retailer, outfitter. We also are a manufacturer of firearms and a firearms dealer. So we do everything from emergency preparedness to firearms gear, camping, survival stuff, and everything. So head on over to PrescottCalClub.com. And remember, CFP rocks. Save 5% today.